And I'm just gonna check. I thought Sarah was also joining us, but she might have forgot the time change. So I'm gonna send her a message. Cause they're in Ontario. So Amy, which ones did you say we're starting with first? Can I go this one? This one. I do. Um okay. Let's when is the people coming in? Well, Vicky's on there. You want to say that, Vicky? No. You don't? Okay, you can look down here if you want because they can see you in there too. Michelle, I have a question about the chili things that you need for the chili, the beans. Yes. I can only find red kid kidney chili style with onion and garlic seasoning. Are they, That's is okay. 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 Not That'll right. work. I have chili style pinto and red kidney beans seasoned with chili spices and peppers. So does it look like you know that gooby stuff that you get with red kidney beans when you open it? That yeah. I always pour out. Okay. But you want us to keep that sauce? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, Vicky. You're okay. gonna try something new today. Ooh, okay. I can't see anyone. It's because Vicky doesn't have her camera on, buddy, and that's okay. Um, I'm just trying, I'm on my computer and on my phone and I, for some reason, Vicki, you're the big person on my phone and I would like, the big person. I'm the I would like the big person to be me. <laughs> <laughs> you're my big person. Oh, well, that's good then. Okay. We'll leave it like that then. Okay. Amy, what are we uh, making first? What one did you say you want to make first? The juicy, the juicy chili. Aha. Uh -huh. So everybody should have, first of all, a saucy chili, sorry, not juicy chili. Yeah, we're gonna do that first. So with the freezer meal workshop, it's pretty awesome because it's just a batch cooking freezer meal. So I don't plan on using this like five days in a row because you'll be eating hamburger five days in a row, but we plan on using it like on busy days so we can pull it out of the freezer when we need to make something. Um, I did buy all of the extras that you need for the cook days. So like the buns and things like that, that I might not use this week, I might use next week. I'll just throw them in the freezer and pull them out when I need them. So we're gonna start with the saucy chili. Amy, ready to start? I need one of these bags of hamburger. Can you pass me a bag of hamburger? Okay. So what we did is we made our hamburger. So I did five pounds of hamburger because we're doing all five meals. And we made them in the multi cooker. And what I did is I seared the onion and the garlic for about two minutes. And then I added the hamburger all into the multi-cooker, kept it on sear. That's okay. You just see us. Watch us. Well, then go watch the show. Okay. Well, those are your options. Um, so I cooked it all at once and then I just drained it and left it in my multi-cooker until we were ready to go. That's a protector. No, because there's a protector on it. You should probably not do that if you didn't know that though. All right, so Amy, can you get the ketchup? No, not the ketchup. Can you get the chili beans? Yes. So we then divided it using the scoop and serve and I did two and a half scoops per bag and it worked out perfectly for all five. Um, I could have weighed it on our, temp on our scale but I chose just to do it using the scoop and serve. So I knew that it was equal portions. I did two in every bag and then I had enough to go back and do like a half in each bag after that. So we're gonna do one can of chili beans in sauce undrained. So not the normal way I would normally do it, but we're gonna follow the recipe. So awesome thing about the um, smooth edge can opener, both sides of the can completely smooth. So yeah, this one is really saucy, Vicky. Um, yeah. yeah, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> I did it, I was brave. Just do it. Yeah. You know what, it doesn't look too bad once it's all in there. I think the sauce was just sitting on the top. We'll go with that. So that's in there. <clears throat> then we're gonna add a can of diced tomatoes undrained. And I have just the garlic and olive oil ones, and I did petite diced tomatoes. <coughs> oh. <coughs> but if you have just regular diced tomatoes, that works as well. 
And then one pack of the chili mix. So you know what? These meals are going to come together super quick. The longest part of it is probably cooking the hamburger. I think we can crush out five meals in like 35 minutes. What do you think, Amy? Think we can do it? Whereas traditional freezer meals, it takes like an hour and a half and you're walking away with like seven. Yeah. Um, this doesn't seem like this way because the toilet on that side of my hand is... It's the opposite. Yeah, you're right. She's pulling her hair to the left, but on the video, it's showing it to the right. Good observation. And my hand is down like, like, like here. Yeah. All right. Do you want to put the chili mix in? Yeah. So the last part to this one is just one package of chili mix. Just be careful, put it in the bag here and then, okay, ready? Take it, pour it. Atta girl. And then you know what the best part about this is? What? We get to knead all of the materials together. What? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just close the bag and then we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna mix it all together, but don't push too hard because we don't wanna bust the bag, right? We just want to get it all mixed in together. I'm doing that. Yeah, good job. Top, bottom. Mmm. So this is all you need to do for this one. And then what I always do is I always open it up a little bit and I squeeze all of the air out. You can use the water technique afterwards too, where if you fill up your fridge with, or your sink with water and you place these in the sink, up until where the contents are, it will actually like, just that one. It will like suction it for you. Um, and then what I do is I take a Sharpie. Can we do this one next? Yeah, sure. Do the yeah. Sharpie first before you put the stuff in the bag is easier. I know. <laughs> I was smart. I know. Okay. That was my original plan. We didn't quite get there putting Christmas lights out at an hour before was the plan. All right, so this is the saucy chili and just throw a date on it because it's good in the freezer um, for up to three months, I believe is what it says. I just wanna double check the time. Can I see that for a sec? Yeah. Yeah, three months. Um, so I always date it. We are November 20th. And it'd be good till February 20th. Yeah. It won't last that long in this house. And we got, we got something over at Dale. Oh, we have a new advent calendar hanging. Ooh. Yeah, so all the numbers are in red, but then the 24 is in gold. And you move Ooh. the candy cane from number to number. Yeah. Starting December 20. No, December 1st. <laughs> okay, so on the day that you go to prepare that, your add-ins are just, all you do is you take it out of the refrigerator overnight, let it thaw. And add, add your ingredients to a saute pan if you want, or a skillet. Me. With one cup of water. Yes. And we also have, like, I pick each and those, like, three. Okay. We're going to do all five, though. All five? Yeah. So five. you just add one cup of water, simmer it over medium heat, and then it's ready to serve. So if you want to put, like, grated cheese over top or sour cream, however you want to serve your chili, all I you're doing is adding one cup five, of water. Mommy. Yep. So that one's done. What one's next? So you can pick from those. Okay, the easy stroganoff? Yeah. All right, let's jump around a little. Easy stroganoff it is. We're gonna have this one for supper. I think we are too, actually. So that'll be good to compare. I look even colored white, Dale. She did. All right, let's label this one, even though we're gonna have it for supper. Yeah. Stroganoff. November 20th. Yeah, we're gonna have this one for supper too. 
So what are we doing here, Amy? We've got one portion of make ahead ground beef, eight ounces of mushrooms. What are you using to slice your mushrooms, Vicki? Uh, I don't like mushrooms. Oh, right. <laughs> I knew like that. Slicer for the onions. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do mushrooms and we're going to use the quick slice. So do you like cream of mushroom soup? No, but I'm putting it in. Leo likes it. Second time being brave today. I'm impressed. I'm very much impressed. I do not like the mushroom. No? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, we gotta make sure it's aligned. Okay, ready? I don't think you're lined up. You're not lined up. Can I arrange you? There you go. There, okay, throw those in the bag. You know what? There's not many mushroom lovers in my household either. I really like them, but I grew up eating like canned mushrooms on pizza. Oh, oh. Like, <laughs> lovers pizza with mushrooms. I don't know. My mom just gave it to us when we ate it, I guess. Yep. My kids don't do that. <laughs> do you eat whatever mommy gives you? No. Nope. <laughs> Should you try everything that mommy gives you? No. Yep. You try it at daycare. Oh, this whole box is eight ounces, so we're gonna put the whole thing. And then we need to put a can of mushroom soup. Right, let's do these a little quicker. Can you do the next ones? Sure. Just make sure you're in line. You can see how it has to go in line with that. There you go. Okay, no push down. Just watch your fingers. Good job. Here, I thought I was gonna do the freezer meal workshop on my own because Edward's napping and I thought Anthony was going to do the lights with Amy at this point. Didn't work out as planned. And what did daddy say? No way. He said, how are you going to be able to show off any of your products without Amy? I said, well, you have a point. Oh my gosh, your hair, you should have your hair tied up. Okay. And last one. There. All right, so that's done. We are going to open our can of soup. You had to pick the easy ones to start. That's great. And then we need one tablespoon of three onion or two. We like to use the whole box of mushrooms. Yeah. Do you know why? Because when you cook mushrooms, they shrink up and get really small. How's it going over there? Hey, two meals done. Amazing. All right. I had my cans open. It's not yucky. It's not yucky. It's soup. So then our add-ons for this one, we're just going to, again, add it to like a skillet, a quarter cup of water, bring to a simmer. And then we're going to add in our sour cream. We're going to cook our egg noodles, drain them. Just right beside them. And then you can toss in fresh parsley and melted butter and then you're done. That's great. The marker? Yeah. Um, it is. Right there beside you. Okay, so we just have to add in our seasoning. You wanna write your name? Yeah. We're gonna do one tablespoon of the three onion. Oh, and these actually fit into the containers too, that you can scoop it out, which is nice. The adjustable measuring spoon. I find the smaller one fits a little bit better than the bigger one, but. All right, Amy, ready? You helping? No. Why? I'm just blowing. Okay. <laughs> you wanna let Vicky pick what meal we do next? No, me. Okay, what one will we do next? I think we what, Vicky? I said, I'll let her choose. Yeah. I think we should do the one more. 
on this page, the zesty tacos. Mm, those sound delicious. Maybe we can I was make going to do. Maybe we can make Wait, all of them. Just like we're going to keep talking. Why? I said Why that's what I was going to choose. Oh, good one. That's what she was going to choose. You guys chose the same one. Ooh. All right, zesty tacos. We need one more bag of beef. Can you pass me the beef? Okay. Amy, you'll love these because what's in it? Salsa. Salsa. <laughs> one cup of salsa. Can you get the beef bag? This beef bag? Yep. Yeah. No, that's tomato base. That beef bag. Can you add the salsa to the beef bag? Yes. Check it in. Yep. Good job. Now, we had frozen our tomato paste because we had used it for spaghetti this week and only used one little scoop out of it. So what we did is we scooped it out and put it on a small bar pan and froze it in the freezer. And then once it was frozen, we threw it into a Ziploc bag. So this calls for an, a six ounce can. And I think the can we were using was like um, eight ounce. So we're just gonna throw. Is this That's instructions, yeah. Oh, we're gonna add sorry. all of our leftover tomatoes. Sorry. That's okay. So tomato paste and then one tablespoon of everything taco seasoning. Did we do this already? Uh, yep, yeah, we did that. I did that this morning. Oh, can I cut it all over? Um, just can you check what's underneath that so you're not going through? If you're going to, Amy, you know what? You can color all over that sheet now because we're done with that one. So oh. then, day of again, mix can all we, your ingredients. Can we do all yeah. Mix all your ingredients up. You're gonna freeze it, and then the day of, the day before, take it out, let it thaw out. Add the ingredients to your saute pan with a three quarter cups of water, bring to a simmer over medium heat, and then you have your taco shells, and then you get to obviously pick your mixtures. So you could have cheese, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, whatever you want. But your mixture is all done for you now. All right, let's get the air out of it. And these were the zesty tacos. Can I borrow that for one second, please? Thank you. Um, can I write a check on that too? Um, you can write a check on that because that's what we just did, those two. And you know what's great about these ones? They won't take up a lot of room in your freezer because they're pretty small as far as bag space. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, done. On to four. We're going to do barbecue sloppy yeah. joes. Yeah. Maybe you're gonna like these two. Wanna know why? Why? You guys are gonna put some ketchup in it? Ketchup! <laughs> <laughs> yep. We are a saucy family, I guess, in more ways than one. All right, make ahead me. One, I can't get my freezer bag open. <laughs> uh, one cup of ketchup. So I am using the um, measure all. So pop that in there. I'm leaving the one, the beef hoagies till the end because I realized just about 15 minutes what before this that I didn't have this? red wine vinegar. All right, one cup. Yeah, we're all done with that one. Yeah, we're all done with this one. Is that a new bag? Yep. And is that a new bottle of ketchup? Uh, no, it's actually, we'll probably need a new one here soon. All right, we got our ketchup in there. Two tablespoons of smoky barbecue rub. Might have to open a new bottle. A new bottle? No, I think we're good. One. Just enough. Two. Just enough. <laughs> and two teaspoons of cider vinegar. This is great. I love when I have meals up ready ahead of time. All right, two teaspoons. 
doesn't seem like very much. And that is it. And then the day of, again, your skillet, simmer to medium heat, divide your mixture among six hamburger buns, top with coleslaw if you want, grated cheese, shredded lettuce. And you know what I would do with this one is I would then put it on the grill and griddle and press down and like grill it so that your cheese is melting over the top. And if what we did is we bought just white dinner rolls, but all of them connected. So what I would do is take like my bread knife, cut halfway through, fill it all in, put my cheese on top, close it, put it under my grill, grill it, and then it'll be delicious. Good idea. Yeah. We had a recipe like this before um, in one of our season's best, but I think it was like a beef, almost like a Philly steak slider. And you did the same thing. You added your cheese and then you pressed it on the grill. But it was like with beef and onion and cheese. And it was a lot of onion when they called for it. And I'm not a lover of onions. Love <laughs> onions. <laughs> like they have to be like thinly diced or grilled. All right, so there's your sloppy joe mixture. I think if you were serving a bigger family, you would do probably double the amount. Just looking at the sizes, I'm like, Ooh, can I see this? Works for us because the kids won't eat some of this. <laughs> Why do I never get to? Attitude. So are you sad you're not on the cruise? I'm very sad. <laughs> uh, next year? The funny thing is, they asked me if I wanted to go. I said no because it's parent teacher interviews in the book fair. And right. I said, I yes, our, our book fair is this week too. Yeah. Um, I said, I can't miss it. But as it turns out, we couldn't get the book fair. It was too booked up. So we're not uh, having it. First week of December. Could have gone on the cruise. Well, anyway, that's okay. That's, that's the price you pay for being the youngest in your friend group. That's right. <laughs> What in? I want to talk. Can you put a check here? We're on our last one, Italian beef hoagies. Put a check right here. Yep. You want to talk? What is it that you would love to say? We're going to make a meeting. Awesome. In February. Oh, Mickey and Minnie's. I'm like, yes. Nick and, okay. Whoa. Like Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> Yes, in February. All right, so this one calls for a green onion and a red onion. I went with two green onions. Again, and you I, can change this for your preferences. I just bought one of those packs at the soup at the grocery store that has them already sliced up. Oh, smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use the um, scoop loop and just take out all my seeds. And then we're gonna use the quick slice again and just slice it. And then we're, we're gonna do is after we slice it once, we'll just turn it around and dice it. Um, could have used the rapid prep as well, but I'm just trying to eliminate cleanup. Cause let's be serious. I'd really be up by the time we're done this probably. <laughs> These are my notes that I make in like Heal. Oh, can you believe she goes into kindergarten next year? Same. Amy, did we register you for kindergarten? No. Yes, we did. Kindergarten? Are you going to talk French? French, so. See, look at that. You already know how to say hello. <laughs> All right. That's uh, not French, but that's another language saying hello. You're right. <laughs> um, how does that song go, Amy? Can you say hello in all the different languages? Um, we do that for a moment. You do it in the morning, but how does it go? Can you sing it for Vicky? No, you. 
Uh, I think I'm good. If you don't, I'll put a hoax on you. A hoax on me? What? Or did, no, don't do that, please. No, that's permanent marker. Well, how does it go? It goes bonjour, ni hao. Then what's next? Bonjour. Yeah, what's after that? Ni hao. What's after that? Hello to all the people in the world. No. Hello, we have fun. <laughs> Did I put you on the spot? Okay, don't do that. That's permanent marker, please. Okay, we're gonna put some slices and some dices. The different languages are that are in that song. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good one. They sing at the Montessori. It's a welcome song in the morning, and they welcome all the nationalities. Pretty cool. All right. Do, 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 do. I have to check. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one more and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. So then yeah. you're gonna add two tablespoons yeah. of red wine vinegar. I thought I had red wine vinegar, turns out it's balsamic. Um, so I'm gonna use white wine. I know it's not gonna be the exact same taste, but I think it's better than nothing. Yeah. It's my executive decision. Yeah. Yeah. I like some honey. Some honey? There's no honey in the dresses. Can you believe that? Can you give me some honey from the couple? Maybe after. Let's finish this recipe first. Uh, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. I have to do some duck. A package of onion soup mix. Amy, do you see a white package of onion soup mix over there? Somewhere? I took it out. Oh, it's over there by the cupcake uh, wrappers. No. I think Amy and I might make some caramel latte cupcakes after. Ooh, yeah, those mixes. We have um, a few of the mixes because they're on great sale. Some of them are already sold out like crazy though. All right, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning mix. I was fresh out of Italian, so I had to get a brand new bottle when you guys play Star Wars. Um, and it's one yeah. tables. Oh, careful, you just got me with that. She? Okay, I think we're gonna put the marker away. Did I write on the last bed? I did. Um, I did. All right. Yeah, I like the recipes were all centered on one kind of meat instead of buying all kinds of different kinds of meat. So yeah. I like. And then I got to the grocery store yesterday, and they only had like all the small little packs. Oh yeah. And I'm like, oh man, how many of these do I have to buy? And as I was starting to walk away with like my six individual packages, he came out with the big family size ones. I'm like, okay, perfect. Excellent. All right, mix all that up. There's not much in there for uh, kind of like substance or stickiness. So on day of, we're gonna Saute that up, oh yeah, with a quarter cup of water, bring it to the simmer, medium heat, sprinkle one cup of grated mozzarella cheese, simmer it, that's what's gonna hold it together. And then put it onto the hoagie rolls. Good stuff. Well, we just crushed out five yep. recipes in 36 minutes. Amazing. Yay. That is amazing. Um, I'm excited to try the the easy stroganoff today. See what mm -hmm. that and I think that's the one that probably needs the most day of cooking. It seems like it has like the most instructions for day of. Italian hoagies. Mm, that might be tomorrow. There you go. Awesome. So we're just gonna throw those in the freezer, except for the one we're making tonight, and that's it. That's great. Thank you very so, much.
No problem. And anyone who's watching the replay, let us know when you guys make them and how it goes. And then um, Black Friday sales end on the 30th. Their well supplies last. But there is something else coming out for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, what are we going to do for the rest of the day? They had lunch yet. Did I have lunch? No, you did though. Mm -hmm. oh, what would you like? Bun. A bun? Okay, cool. I always eat bun. <laughs> Do you want like <laughs> peanut butter and jam on your bun? No, I just want bun. Sounds good. All right. If you have any questions when you're going to make them, reach out to me and let me know. Super. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.